you ready for our new lesson for today? Yes, yes we are. are. I am Teacher Genevieve, your English lead teacher for today. Okay, so before we start our further discussion, let's have a game. Do you like games? Yes. yes. Okay. Sure. So this game, okay, so what you call fun pack. Do you know what is a fun pack is? So a fun pack, it is all about an informative uh, trivia that you need to know or might need to know. Okay, are you ready? Yes. yes okay, can you give me now a hep hep hooray clap if you're ready? Hep hep hooray. Hep hep hooray. Okay, ready? Go. Hep hep hooray. Hep hooray. Okay, so let's begin. Okay, so our, oh, so I'm going to show you a picture with a caption. So all you need to do is answer me. Either it's a fact or a love. What you're going to answer? Fact or love. Okay, so it is a fact if the sentence or the statement telling truth. And if it is a bluff, if the sentence or the statement is telling a lie. Okay, so our first picture is love. A flag in Philippine flag. So it says that Philippine flag is made of three colors. What do you think is the answer? Is it fact or bluff? Bluff. Okay, so let's see the answer. Okay, so the answer is love. The next one. Oh, can you read it for me? Sari Sal is Philippines national hero. Okay, do you know who Sari Sal is? Yes. yes. Okay, Dr. Sari Sal is Philippine national hero. Is it fact or bluff? Fact. Okay, so let's see if your answer is correct. Okay, so that is a fact. Okay, next. How about this one? Whale is smaller than dolphins. Is it fact or bluff? Bluff. Okay, so let's see if your answer is correct. Okay, so your answer is love. Definitely whales because whales is the most biggest animals in the world. Okay, next. How about this one? Can you read it for me? Mermaids can be found in the ocean. Okay, have you seen a mermaid in real life? No. Okay, so what, what do you think it is? Is it a fact or bluff? Bluff. Okay, so let's see if your answer is correct. Okay, definitely that is correct. Because mermaids are only fictional characters. They can't be seen in real life. Okay, how about this one? Okay, rooster doesn't lay egg. Is it fact or bluff? Fact. Yes, Maria Otis. Fact. Fact. Okay, let's see if your answer is correct. Yes, very good, Otis. Your answer is correct. That is a fact. Because rooster is a male chicken. So only hen lay eggs. Okay, next one. How about this one? The sun is a planet. Is it fact or bluff? Bluff. Okay, let's see. Okay, correct. Your answer is correct. So that is a bluff. Because sun is considered as what? Star. Star. Yes, very good. It seems that you really study your lesson in science. So that is a fact. Next. How about this one? Your heart is just like the size of your fist. Show me your fist. Where is your fist? Okay, so put it on your chest. So do you think your fist is just like the size of your heart? Yes. yes. Is it fact or bluff? Fact. Okay, so let's see if your answer is correct. Okay, so that is a fact. So according to studies, that our fist is approximately the size of our heart. Okay, how about this one? Yellow and blue makes green color. Is that fact or bluff? Fact. Okay, so let's see if your answer is correct. So that is a fact. So, uh, yellow and blue makes color green. So that is considered as what? In your art subject. That is a secondary color. So what are the primary colors? Red, blue, yellow. Very good. Are you having 
fun with this activity? Yes! So, did you learn a lot? Yes! Okay, so now let's have a short review regarding on our previous lesson last time. So what was our topic last time all about? Lyle? Making inference. What else? What else? Making conclusions. Okay, making conclusions. Do you still remember what are this? Making inference and making conclusion. When you say inference, when you say inference, yes, Hachel. Making guess. Okay, making guess. You are making guess on about the people, the uh, events, or the uh, subject talking about in the story or in the selection. Well, how about when you say conclusion? Yeah. Yes, Florinda. Do you have a final decision? Yes, very good. Uh, let's give a very good clap for Florinda. Very good. Okay. Very good. Conclusion is about making judgment or final decision on some main points or ideas. So let's see if you really understood our lesson last time. Okay, so I'm going to show you a video. So you're going to uh, make inference and conclusion about the video. Okay. Considered as a dice. So in each, uh, in each 
side, it has a sentences. So, all you need to do is to roll the dice. And whatever appear on the top of the box or the dice, you are going to answer if it is. If it is. It can be proven true. Or the sentence could be just a feeling for something. Okay, are you ready? Yes, we are. Okay, so who wants to play the dice? Who wants to play the dice first? Hazel. Okay, throw it away. Okay, can you read the first sen uh, first sentence? 5x adds 6x equals to 11x. Okay, so what do you think uh, the statement says? Is it can be proven true or just appealing for something? Can be proven true. Very good. So your answer is correct. That is can be proven true, true because 5 add to 6 is equal to 11. 11. Okay, how about you, Lyle? Do you want to roll the dice? Yes. <laughs> okay, can you read it, Lyle? Bulacan is a part of region 3. Okay, is it can be proven true or just a feeling for something? Can be proven true. Okay, because according to your studies in AP, that Bulacan is part of region 3. Okay, how about you, Liza? Do you want to roll the dice? Okay, can you read it for me, Liza? Philippines is composed of three major island groups, Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. Okay, can be proven true or just a feeling for something? Can be proven true, okay. teacher. Okay, so again, according to your AP subject, the Philippines is composed of three major groups, that is Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao, because we are an archipelago country. So we are surrounded by different um, islands and we are surrounded by water. Okay, how about your Otis? Do you want to throw the dice? Yes, ma'am. Okay, can you read it for me, Otis? Sunset. Sunset del Monte Smith is the most beautiful city in the Philippines. Okay, can be proven true or just a feeling for something? My answer is just a feeling for something. Okay, very good, Otis. That is... Correct. That is only for your um, feeling or your um, idea that San Jose del Monte for you is the most beautiful city in the Philippines. But for others, it is not. Okay, last one. How about you, Florida? You want to roll the dice? Yes, ma'am. Orange juice is a better source of vitamins than pineapple juice. Okay, what is your answer? Just a feeling for something. Okay, very good. That is um, uh, just a feeling for something because for you, it may be a good source of vitamins, but for others, it's not. Okay, are you having fun again? Yes! Okay, so now, let's proceed to our story time. Okay, story time. So let's proceed to our story time. Do you want to hear a story? Yes! Okay, so what are the rules before we listen to a story? So let's see. What are the rules again? Okay, first one. You must sit properly. Okay, let me see if you are all sitting properly. Okay, good. Next. Eyes on the teacher. Okay, your eyes must be on me. Eyes on the teacher. And the next one is? Listen carefully. Okay, you should listen carefully. So, all you need to do is to follow these rules to understand the story. Okay, so the title of the story is all about, can you read? Coco's Mellow. Again, what is the title of the story? Coco's Mellow. Okay, Coco's Melon. So the, again, the title of the story is Coco's Melon. Okay. Coco loves to eat watermelon. For him, watermelon is the most delicious fruit in the world. His mother 
told him that watermelon contains a lot of vitamins. It consists of vitamin C to support the immune system, bursting with vitamin B6 that helps brain functions. It contains 93% of water and 6% of sugar. Coco also loves the color of watermelon because it seems that it has a what? Magic! magic. It has a magic. It's color green outside, but when you look at it inside, it's color red. red. But Coco knows that not all watermelon is just like that. He believes that watermelon can give him energy all day long. So again, what is the title of our story? Cocos Melon. Okay, Cocos Melon. Have you eaten watermelon before? Yes. yes. Okay, so can you describe to me what is the taste of uh, watermelon? Sweet. Sweet. That is very sweet. So again, who are the characters in the story? Who are the characters in the story? Coco. Coco and his mother. Okay, his mother. Okay. So who loves watermelon? Coco. Who loves watermelon? Coco. Okay. Okay, who told Coco that watermelon contains a lot of vitamins? His mother. His mother. His mother. mother told him that it contains a lot of vitamins. Okay. Can you describe a watermelon in a sentence? Otis? Watermelon is very sweet and watery. Okay, very good, Asia. Um, watermelon contains different vitamins like vitamin. What? <laughs> okay, <laughs> very good, Asia. It seems that we have a bright student here. Okay, what else? Can you give me another sentence that describes watermelon? Uh, Lele. Watermelon is green outside but yeah, red inside. Very good, um, Lele. So now, so I have here sentences from the story. So all you need to do is distinguish or identify which of these sentences is something that can be proven through or someone just a feeling about something. Okay, can you read it for me? Water. 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 Watermelon is most delicious fruit in the world. Okay, so what do you think is this? Can be proven through or someone feeling about something? Some. Same. Someone's feeling about something. Okay, good. Watermelon is the most delicious. No, that is only a, just a feeling about something. How about this one? Oh, so love the color of watermelon because it seems it has a magic. Okay, what do you think is the answer? Someone's feeling about something. Okay, someone's feeling for something. Okay, next, how about this one? First thing with vitamin B6 and helps brain functions. It contains 93% of water and 6% of sugar. Okay, um, Hazel, what do you think is the answer? Something that can be proven true. Okay, so something that can be proven true. So according to uh, the textbook, that uh, according to the people who are nutritionists, they are, uh, by, uh, watermelon consists of vitamin B6 and it contains 93%. And 6% of sugar. Next one, how about this one? It's, it's color green outside, but when you look it inside, it is color red. Okay, can be proven true or just a feeling? Can be proven true. Okay, so we can prove that watermelon is color green outside, but when you look it inside, it's color red. Okay, next, how about this one? He believes that watermelon can give him energy all day long. Okay, what do you think is the answer? Someone's feeling about something. Okay, good. So that is someone feeling for about something. Okay, last one. Contains vitamin C to support the immune system. Okay, what is the answer? Something that can be Okay, 
Okay, so that is can be proven true because watermelon contains a lot of vitamins. So these are the sentences that can be proven true or it is just a feeling about something. Okay, so for the sentences or statement that can be proven true, we call it a... Can you read it for me? Fact. Okay, that is what you call a fact. Okay, can you spell it for me? F-A-C-T-S. Fact. Okay, so the statement or the sentence that can be proven true is what we call fact. Okay. Uh, Otis? Yes, ma'am. Can you read it? Statements can, that can be proven true or actual existence of something. Okay, so when we say fact, that is, can be proven true or it has an existence. Uh, meaning to say it is the, um, you need proof before you say it is a fact. So it came from the different kinds of textbook or you may google it in internet to prove that it is a Okay, so we can say that the statement or the sentence is a fact if it is science related. Okay, if the statement or the sentence is connected to um, historical event. And if it is the, uh, the sentence has a um, geographical location of a place and tells about the date and time, the exact date and time. And it, uh, it talks about the numbers of something. Okay, so that is what you call a fact. For example, um, COVID-19 is a virus that kills a lot of people. Is that a fact or opinion? Fact. Okay, so why, why can you say that it is a virus that kills a lot of people, Hachel? Um, based on the news that we... Okay, based on the medical studies that COVID-19 uh, yes. is a virus that will kill people. Many yes, people. very good, Rachel. Let's give good job, clap for Rachel. Good job. Okay, so that is can be proven true or that is a fact because we almost see in the news that COVID-19 really or uh, do kill a lot of people. Okay. How about someone feeling about something? So that is what you call an opinion. Okay, let us, let us read. Opinion. Okay, can you spell it for me? O-P-I-N-I-O-N. Opinion. Okay, so when the sentence talks about uh, your own ideas or just a feeling for something, that is what you call opinion. opinion. Okay, so let us read. What do you mean by opinion? Let us all read. Opinions that show the belief or someone's judgment. Okay, it is your own belief or your own uh, ideas or perception on a certain topic. So that is a an opinion. So what are the key words? Uh, if we consider the statement or the sentence is an opinion. So we can... Uh, see that it has a the word believe. Uh, just like this one. He believes that watermelon can give him energy all day long. So for Coco, for him, that watermelon is the best fruit for him. Okay. And when there is a word feel, I, my, think, most, always, should, and Never. So that are the keywords. Most of the keywords are just like that. So you can see that the sentence or the statement is an okay. opinion. Okay, for example, um, Hazel is the most beautiful girl in our classroom. Do you agree or not? Opinion. <laughs> that is an opinion. So that is for my only opinion. That is my own Believe that Hachel is the most beautiful in our classroom. So for others, it may not. For Lyle or for Otis, that Lyle is the most beautiful girl. But for others, it's not. Okay. So that is your own opinion. Okay, so let's have an activity. 
Okay, so you're going to answer it's either fact or an opinion. Okay, let us read. Birds use their wings to eat. Okay, Otis, what do you think is the answer? The correct answer is fact. Okay, very good, Otis. That is a fact. That is a fact because you um you already studied in uh, science that uh, teacher Richard told you that a bird uses their beaks to to get the, uh, their get to get their food. food. Very good. Next. Okay, I am beautiful. Is that an opinion or a fact? Opinion. Just like that. Opinion. Okay, great. That is an opinion. Because for me, I am beautiful. But for others, it's me. Okay, so that is an opinion. Okay, next. How about this one? Lisa, can you read it for me? Filipinos celebrate Independence Day in June. Is it fact or opinion? Fact. Okay, very good. That is a fact because we celebrate Independence Day on June 12. Okay, very good. So it seems that we have really a bright student here. Okay, so that is a fact. Uh, next one. Rain, rainy days are sad. Rain falls from the clouds. So which do you think on those sentences are fact and opinion? Uh, see him. Rainy days are sad is just an opinion and rain falls from the cloud is a fact. Very good, Celine. So that is correct. So your answer is correct. So that is rainy days are sad is an opinion. So rain falls from the cloud is a fact. Okay, next. How about this one? Lyle, can you read it for me? Ice cream is cold. Melon is my favorite ice cream flavor. Okay, which of those sentences is a fact and opinion? Ice cream is cold is a fact, then melon is my favorite ice cream flavor is a opinion. Yes, very good, Lyle. So we can prove that ice cream is cold. And for you, melon is your favorite ice cream. So that is fact and opinion. Next. Okay, so do you really understand our lesson today? Yes. yes. Okay, regarding about facts and opinion? Yes. yes. Okay, Hazel, can you tell me the difference between the two? Uh, what do you mean by fact when we say fact? Fact. When we say fact? Proven. Proven. It can be proven. While opinion, it is believed. Okay, very good, Hazel. Let's give Hazel a good job clap. For your group activity, group the class into three teams. For blue team, choose the letter of the sentence that shows a fact. For red team, box the whole sentence if it is a fact and encircle if it is an opinion. 
For yellow team, write F for fact and O for an opinion. Okay, time stop. Okay, are you already done? Yes. Okay, so we're going to post your answer on the board. So let's see if your answer is correct. So here are your works. So let's see for the yellow team. So write F if the sentence tells about fact and O if it is. Tells about opinion. So the first sentence is, the cake is delicious. So that is, that is opinion. opinion. So check. Okay. The next one, the cake is made of flour. So that is fact. So that is F check. Next, I have many toys. So that is considered as opinion. Oh, okay. My toys are the best. So that is also an opinion. Okay. I love summer. So as you can see in the picture, they love summer. So that is O. Oh. So that is an opinion. So summer is a season. So that, that is a fact. So that, that can be proven true. And ladybugs are insects, so that is a fact. Next, ladybugs are beautiful, so that is an opinion. Okay, so let's give a good job clap for the yellow team group. Ready? Go! Good job! Okay, next, for the red team. Okay, so these are their answer. So for instruction, box the whole sentence. If it is a fact, add in circle if it is an opinion. Okay, for number one, basketball is played with only one ball. So that is, so that is a fact. Okay, so you can see that basketball game is only played with one ball. Okay, number two, Danny's dog is very cute. So for Danny's, her, his dog is very cute. So that is an opinion. So number three. Badminton is my favorite sport. So that is also an opinion. Number four, sharks swim in deep water. So that is considered as a fact. Next, number five, everyone has a birthday. So that is a fact also. So another good job club for Red Team. Ready? Go! Good job! Okay. And last name is the blue team. So choose the letter of the sentence that shows a fact. For number one, sp a spider have eight legs. And so that is a fact. So we can see that here in sentences A, B, C, only A shows a fact statement. For number two, so letter C is the answer. So teenager are younger than adults. Correct. Then number three, ice cream should be kept in freezer. So that is fact. So another good job clap for the blue team. Ready, go. Good job. Okay. So it seems that you all, uh, you have already understood our lesson regarding about, about? Fact and opinion. Okay. So again, what do you mean by facts? When we say facts, like it. It can be proven. Okay, it can be proven. Okay, how about opinion, Otis? It tells something. Okay, very good, Otis. It tells about your own ideas. Okay. So, for last one, so I have here a picture. So, what do you see? Flag. A flag in Philippines. Flag. Cool. Okay. So, can you give me some facts about our Philippine flags? Yes, Florinda. It, uh, it has three stars and sun. Very good. It has a sun and a three stars. How about your opinion on our flag? Can you give me one? Okay, Shell. Okay. We should stand straight when the flag is waved. Okay. So, for your opinion, hey, Shell, that is a... That is your own opinion. When you when the flag is raised, you're going to stand straight and you're going to make a pause or you're going to stop whatever you are doing. So you're going to put your hands on your chest, then you're going to sing the national anthem. But that is a fact. So we are going to um, 
stand straight and make a pause if you are going if you are hearing the national anthem playing so we need to show some respect. Yes. very good we need to show some respect on our philippine flag because it shows the nationality of your of your country country or your identity okay it shows also the love for your country okay okay so for your assessment get a paper and a pencil and five minutes you're going to answer this one okay so here are the instructions uh, if you're, uh, you're going to answer this one on your paper so identify the sentence if it is a fact or opinion okay okay time's up okay for number one oh, can you read it for me hazel there are 12 months in a year uh, fact or opinion fact Okay, so that is a fact. Number two, Naile. The Philippines is an Asian country. Fact. Okay, that is a fact. Number three, Friday is the best day of the week. Opinion. Okay, that is your own opinion. Number four, Otis. Red shoes are better than white shoes. And the answer is... Opinion. Okay, so for you, red shoes is better than white shoes. That is your opinion. Number five, Celine. Frog is a kind of amphibians. Fact. That is a fact. Okay, that is a fact. Number six, Lorinda. If I ate two apples out of ten apples, I only have eight apples left. Fact or opinion? Fact. Okay, so that is can be proven true. Okay, for your assignment, you are going to write a sentence about the picture and tells about whether, uh, tells whether it is a fact or opinion. That is all for now, kids. So, uh, our lesson is about facts and opinions. So, see you next time for our English lesson.